Okay, so we decided to come watch Morbius. It was all his idea. He's super, super stoked about it. He cannot wait to see it. No, it's the opposite. <laughs> but actually, um, we're gonna give you our opinions about it first. So I'm excited to see it uh, because obviously it's it's like a superhero story. It's uh, Marvel. Well, it's like from the Marvel world. And, um, well, it's Jared Leto, so we'll find out. What are your thoughts? You want to see Jared Leto in this movie. All right, so we finished watching Morbius, and we're going to give you um, some of our general thoughts about the movie. Uh, so first of all, where do I start? <laughs> Right, so it starts off with him on a plane, and spoiler alerts, by the way, for those of you who plan on watching it, who still plan on watching it after this review. So it starts off with him going to, I think it's Costa Rica. You have no idea why he's going to Costa Rica. He just goes into a bat cave and cuts his hand and has the bats come out because of the blood or whatever, but we have no idea why. <coughs> Unfortunately, like scenes and scenes later, you just see that he has what he calls a bat aquarium. And the bats are flying around. He doesn't really, ex it doesn't explain that's why he was there. That's why that scene happened. It was just here and then later, 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 you see the bats in his lab and that's it. That's all that it did. The logic didn't flow. There's so many holes in this plot. Like... And she, she may edit this out because, you know, it's her prerogative. But for me to talk about Morpheus, I mean, Miller Light. you may continue. <laughs> well, that's just a lot about what he thought. Okay. Right. So too many holes in the script. Um, then you're, you're taken back with them. So, uh, yeah, it flash forwards into when they were younger, even though it's like, going in the past. So you see their struggle growing up at, with, as children who have a disability and you sympathize with them. That's definitely true. Uh, him and his brother form a very, well, it's like his adopted brother. They form a very close relationship. Or so you think. Right. Right. So do you want to tell them about that weird hole in the plot about, so you think they form a very close relationship, right? Okay. <laughs> uh... He's oh, speechless. May... I am speechless on this movie. <laughs> okay, I so... am so speechless on this movie. Look, okay, I have some things to say about it, but on that point, to, to her point, to what she's asking me, um, they, the movie early on presents that them two are like brothers for life. Like they, they're close. They're very close. They both have um, the sand. They've been together forever. <laughs> they're, I mean, but then when things go awry, um, they hate each other. Twice it as needed. Okay, cause... it should be free form. No. So you were saying that suddenly they hate each other. Um, okay, to get into the plot, they both have this disease where, you know, we don't even really, they, that's another plot hole. Yeah. They didn't really even explain. Well, they did. You know that they have a degenerative blood disease. They did explain it. Oh, really? Oh, okay, so what is... No, 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 this is good. I want to know. What is the disease? It's something with their... Something. I think it's like an autoimmune disease that attacks... You think? I'm Notice she sure. says think. I am pretty sure. See, that's the problem with this movie. There are so many assumptions. It's so unclear. True. So unclear. But basically, they present this idea that they do have this A disease. Sickness. Where <laughs> Is it recording? Okay, so you don't know exactly what sickness, but you know, like, they're eventually, it seems like they're going to die. They have trouble walking. They seem, you know. And they keep saying, we're going to die, we're dying, we're, gonna, we're dying. We're dying. They look very ill. Okay, so anyway, 
when the cure comes about, the brother, the one brother, you now he's, it creates side effects that, you know, okay, spoiler alert, he becomes, you know, the this supernatural vampire. vampire. Okay, so we talked about how the brother just decides that he's evil. His he's now has to kill his lifelong. He has to kill Morpheus. Um, so he starts killing the people Morpheus loves. So they grew up with the same father or the same adopted father who took care of them, who basically gave them everything, who continually loves them despite the fact that you know they're they're doing things that are unethical. So the father stays in their life, and then the brother, who I forget his name, it's something with an M as well, just decides he's gonna kill the father. So like that, he- Molly? Molly? Molly. Something with an M, I don't know. Saying the characters are kind of hard to remember because it's just, forget I mean, is that- It's forgettable. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's for, it's, it, <laughs> look. Okay, and we haven't even talked about Jared Leto and, um, we, I don't know if we want to do that yet, but, uh, you spoiler, can't... end of his career. Well, I think... If the Joker didn't do it, this movie should. Well, yeah, so it's, he, it's, I wanted to see it because I'm like, okay, let's give him another chance. Let's see what happens with this film. In, in his defense, I would think, I would say that the plot itself had too many holes. What we're trying to say is... What we mean to say is, what we want to say is... Do not watch this movie. <laughs> he wanted to mention how Jared Leto was not a good fit for the role. But basically, we don't give it a high number. Um, I would rate it a 4 out of 10. If you want to go waste your money, I mean, if you want to go spend your money and watch it, it's on you. But don't say we didn't warn you.